friend of her little sister had gone missing and that he didn't know she had been murdered until the FBI informed him, after which he was so upset and distraught that he vomited. Friends and supporters of Alyssa's online voice opinions that Alyssa was really covering for her boyfriend. He did ultimately fail a polygraph examination, but he was never named as a suspect and no charges were ever filed against him. There are a couple programs you can view online for free regarding the murder of Elizabeth Olton. I've linked an episode of Deadly Women, an episode of Killer Kids, and the trailer for a full-length feature film. My Name is A by Anonymous is an art house film that premiered at the Polygrind Film Festival in October 2012, where it won Best Art House Film. I found it to be abstract and interpretive, and it was not at all a documentary. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 12. Come back next time to hear the sad tale of the 1993 murder of four-year-old Derek Roby by 13-year-old Eric Smith, a well-known case I am sure you're familiar with. We will take a deep look into his self-proclaimed motivations for the murder, along with everything you need to know about where he is and his future potential for parole. Find us wherever you get your podcasts and online on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat at Killer Kids Pod. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to head over to www.resonaterecordings.com to get a feel for the amazing range of podcast production services they offer. There is something for everyone, and as always, your first episode is produced for free. Check them out at www.resonaterecordings.com today. Thank you.